We are going to be creating this beautiful alpine tree this week. So um, we are getting ready for winter. We want to make sure that we are hanging things up to make us think of winter. So that's why we're going to go ahead and start them now because this is going to take a couple of weeks to complete. So what we're going to be doing today, you are going to have three different pieces of paper. You're going to have a really tall piece of paper for your tree. You're going to have a square piece of paper, which will be ripped to create this, like this tree is sitting inside of the snow. And then you are going to be given a rectangle for the stem. And we're going to be painting all three of these pieces of paper today. So all we're gonna be doing today is painting the tree, the stem, and then creating the snow on the square. So you are going to be given a tray of paints for you and your shoulder partner to share. You are going to have two different values of green. You're going to have two or two different values of blue, white, and two different values of brown for the stem. So you're also going to be using these Tigger hoppers. We're not going to use paint brushes today because these Tigger hoppers uh, give us the texture that we need for the tree. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do our tree first. So in order to get this nice tree look, if you notice the shape of this tree, it's actually a triangle on top of a triangle on top of a triangle. And if you notice, they get bigger as they go to the bottom. So what we're going to do, and you also notice we actually stop right at about here. So if I were you, I would use this piece of paper here as a guide to show you about how far you need to come down with your tree. So because this is going to be tour, I might want to come down to about here and stop on my tree. So if you want to use that as a guide, that, that's a great idea. Okay, so I am going to pick up my little Tigger Hopper, and I'm actually going to dip into a couple of those values because that's really going to make it look realistic with those that dark green and that really bright neon green splashed in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the top and I am simply going to make a little triangle like this. Okay. Now, we know that the tree is really not a bunch of triangles. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. This is just a guide. I'm going to show you what we're going to do in just a little bit. Now I'm going to do just a little bit bigger triangle. Okay, I'm just getting this basic shape of this tree. And then I'm going to dip and I'm going to do a bigger triangle. And I'm going to stop it about right there and that's okay. I'm stop it about right there. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to tigger hop and I'm going to fill in on my tree. Now you kind of want those edges a little jagged. It's going to make it look a little more realistic. We know trees are not smooth on the ends. So I'm going to tigger hop and I'm just going to fill in. And I'm going to make sure that I get some really jaggedy ends on this tree. Ooh, that's looking really good. I'm really pleased with this. Good. See, I'm actually kind of holding my tigger hopper to really get that look of the tree. I'm kind of holding my tigger hopper out to the side. I'm going to fill it in. Okay, so now I've got the triangle, but I don't want a triangle. Trees are not perfectly, they're not like perfect triangles. And I'm just going to take this tigger hopper and I'm just, I really want that rough edge along the edges of the tree. You want to fill in. You do not want black to show through. Okay, these trees are solid. You don't really want a whole lot of that black to show through. All right, I'm going to add a little more of the neon green in some of these places, and that's okay. You can go back and do that. Fill in maybe some neon green. I'm going to add a little more jagged edges here, make it look a little more realistic. 
I want to jag at the bottom too. I don't want that all perfectly straight across here at the bottom. See, I'm just kind of doing like that. Trees are not perfect. Perfect. All right. Now, now I want it to look like there is snow falling on the tree. So I'm actually going to add snow on the edges of the tree because if if that were true. Um, in nature, you're definitely going to have uh, snow on the edges of the tree and just a little bit throughout. So that's okay. I'm going to just go right in with my green. That's okay because it's just going to kind of blend it. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this white and I'm going to start tapping, especially at the top. And I'm going to start tapping the edges little bit on the inside. Of course there's going to be a little bit on the inside. You don't want to just do the edges. It's not going to look as realistic. You just want a little bit on the inside. I definitely think there's going to be more snow up here at the top of this tree. So it's tall and it's going to probably catch most of the snow. And voila. And then that's all we're doing to the tree today. That is it. Then we are going to get our square. Now, I only have one for this, the, the snow, and I have one ticker hopper for the uh, stem. So maybe your partner can do the stem while you do the snow, and then y'all can switch out because you don't want to be mixing all these ticker hoppers and all these different colors. Now, the values are okay. If you're in the same value, that's okay, but you don't want to be hop. I don't want to take my green and hop in the brown. Okay, so I'm going to use this one right here, and I'm going to dip in a little bit of that turquoise, and I'm going to dip into a little bit of that dark blue, and I have some white on there. Now remember, you want most of this white because it is snow, but sometimes snow will have a little blue tint. Some different colors throughout. So you don't want it real blue. You definitely want more white because we are painting the snow here. We just want some different values thrown in to make it look really real like it's in nature. Kind of get your edges, although it doesn't matter because it's just going to look like snow, whatever edges you don't do on your paper, so that's okay. And I'm satisfied with that. I like that. And then I'm going to use my other Tigger Hopper, put that up there, and this one won't take you that long. And we're just going to do the stem, and again, I'm going to take a couple of values of that brown. I don't want just one brown. It really looks good when you use some different values in, a, in anything you do. Look how cool that looks, those different values of brown. And you don't want to leave white on your stem. Okay, you definitely want to make sure that you tigger hop all over that stem. Okay, and then this is it. This is all we're going to do today. Ooh, look how nice. Look at that. It looks like a highlight on that, um, that tree stem. I love that. Okay. So this is all you're going to do today, and then you're going to bring me this whole mat to the drying rat, rack. Sorry, Miss Rucker. And we are going to... Um, yeah, we're not going to clean our mat or anything. You're just going to put everything on the drying rack. And then I will um, stack it up and hand it back to you next week. Make sure you put your name on all three pieces before you begin. On the back, not the front. On the back, make sure your name is on all three pieces. Perfect. Have fun.